8 billion. That's the number of humans on Earth. 3 billion. That's the number of how many people are either overweight or obese. Obese, meaning at least 30% of your total body weight is fat. Matter of fact, so fat to the point where it's difficult to even walk. Now, is it fair to solely blame the fast food restaurants or does it ultimately come down to your personal responsibility? It's the actions that you take right now, at this very moment, starting today, that will ultimately shape your future. And I chose to take full accountability for every decision I make in my life. And I hope you do too. That being said, stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how I transformed my body in just 30 days. I'll also break everything down in a step-by-step -step systematic order of what I did so that you can do it too. All right, so it's April 1st and I've got a pretty big issue. I'm looking, uh, I'm looking pretty fat and um, this is not good, especially because I got a trip pretty soon to Europe in around maybe two months. So how am I gonna pull the baddies looking like this? But luckily, I've got a plan and all you've got to do is just walk. Get your steps in, it's super simple. So for some context here, my body fat's maybe around 25% from when I last checked. So I'm considered overweight according to the BMI or the body mass index. And that's normal because I've been intentionally bulking since last year. So this is actually deliberate. But you might be wondering, bro, why would you get fat on purpose, man? If you don't know, bulking is basically a bodybuilding term and it's a period of time when you eat a little bit more calories than your body needs. And this actually allows you to maximize your muscle growth. But on the downside, you can get a little chunky. So now that winter's over, we're heading into the warmer months, the warmer seasons. And this is what I like to call the hot girl summer season. You're going to see me start the cutting process where I actually get rid of all my fat I've gained over the winter. This is going to be a 30 day challenge. Now, I typically don't recommend this because you typically don't want to cut too aggressively because you'll lose a lot of muscle mass. It's always better to take your time, not rush things. But anyways, I'll check back in with you guys in around 30 days. I'll document everything step by step and you'll see my new body transformation. So stay tuned. All right. All right, y'all. So this is um, this is day one of the I'm going to call it a journey because I don't want to say challenge, because when you say challenge, it insinuates that something's difficult. And, um, you know, walking an hour a day or something, guys, it's not difficult. Um, difficulty is like when you when you don't know what your next meal is, man. So this isn't hard. Change your mindset. Uh, but do keep in mind, this is a marathon, not a sprint. So you're not going to get abs overnight because if you can get abs overnight, it wouldn't be valuable. And um, everybody else would do it, right? So yeah. But as you guys can see, there's snow on the ground. But, um, you know, it's, it's not going to stop me. Whether it's snowing or raining or whatever it is, um, I'm still going to be walking outside. If you're scared of Mother Nature, man, just just go on a treadmill or something. But uh, nature's nice, man. Nature's nice. Um, I even got allergies, so i still be walking outside. But, yeah, this is, um, this is day one of the journey, right? It's not a challenge. And um, I'm going to check back with you guys on day 15, so the halfway mark. And then um, I'll check back with you guys on day 30. And then uh, we'll see some of the changes. But uh, make sure you guys stay hydrated. So instead of carrying like a water bottle, I got this little uh, this little container. I forgot what it's called. Um, maybe I'll put it in the description. Uh, but it just carries water. It's like a backpack for water. And it's got a little hose right here. Just pop it open and then you can take a drink. Yeah, cutting is basically you're strategically like starving yourself. So... Make sure you guys stay hydrated and um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in about 15 days and then 30 days from now.
right, so as we can see, it is day 15, April 15th. Um, and then we're gonna actually step on the scale right now. We're halfway through the journey. The little challenge we got going on. Um, no days off, no cheap meals, nothing like that. Let's see how much I weigh. Okay, not bad, so I lost a couple pounds. So that is day 15, I think I lost around five, six pounds. All right guys, so it is the final day of the challenge. As you can see, it is May 1st. We are finished with the challenge, the 30 day challenge. And uh, this is what I look like now guys. So do I got the six pack? Hold on, do I got the six pack? Almost, man. I got around like a four pack going. So you see the, you see a little bit of the striations. One, two, three, four. This one's starting to kind of form. But uh, these are the kind of the hardest parts to really burn is the love handles, man. But would I say this is a success? I think so, man. So I ended up losing a lot of weight. I'm not as uh, fat anymore. So let's uh, let's step on the scale and let's kind of see how how much we weigh. But uh, I'm actually pretty happy with myself, man. Uh, I think I look pretty good and uh, you know, the journey's not done. This is gonna be a process. So 164.5. So I lost around, I think 10 pounds from when we last uh, did the measurements from the first from the first week. I think that's a success guys. That means I would be burning two and a half pounds every week. So overall, I think it's a success and uh, yeah. Stay tuned for the afterthoughts of the video. All right, so these are my progress photos. As you guys can see, day one looks a little bit rough. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You know, skinny fat, you see the man boobs, the love handles, then my gut or my, uh, my stomach's protruding and I look kind of pregnant. However, as we start the challenge and we start progressing a couple days in and I start incorporating those good fundamental principles like healthy food choices, a little bit of exercise, I actually started to see a lot of changes, significant changes, especially around that stomach area. You can actually see some of my abs and the, uh, the striations starting to form. And finally, as we approach day 30, my stomach's flat. I don't look pregnant anymore. Man boobs and my love handles are gone and my abs are starting to pop out real nicely. So first and foremost, if you're still watching the video and you're still staying tuned, congratulations, because that shows me that um, you're very dedicated and it shows me that you're genuinely curious about this topic. So you possibly want to change your life for the better, which is a good thing. And um, without further ado, guys, let's get back into the video. And this is how I lost 10 pounds in just 30 days. On day one, we started the challenge at around 174 pounds with a BMI of 25. By the end of day 30, I was able to retain most of my muscle and burn 10 pounds of fat, bringing my weight down to 164 pounds in 30 days. And this brings me to the most important step, which is nutrition. The very first thing I did was I went on an animal-based diet and I started tracking my calories. Now I did this for one of two reasons. Firstly, prior to this, my diet consisted of mostly rice, oats, and burritos which are very high in carbohydrates. However, there are studies and medical literature. When you go on an animal-based or any diet that restricts your intake of carbohydrates, your body enters a metabolic state called ketosis. Basically, what happens is when you restrict carbohydrates, your body will be forced to burn stored body fat as energy instead of carbohydrates. Also, don't sleep on this next step. I tracked my calories every day. This is a very important step because you need to go on something called a caloric deficit, which means you burn more calories than you're consuming. It's quite self-explanatory, but for more information, you have to Google search caloric deficit calculator, and it'll let you know based on your body measurements and the inputs you put in, how many calories you need to burn or eat. And lastly, exercise. Now this isn't mandatory because I've seen people transform their body without exercising, However, it's highly recommended, not only for your physical and mental health, but it's also going to speed up that fat burning process tremendously. If you decide to incorporate exercising in your daily routine, it's basically killing two birds with one stone. All I did was I walked at a brisk pace for around hour and a half a day, and I used my phone to track my steps. 
Sometimes if it was raining or I needed to get done quicker, I would maybe use the Stairmaster for around 45 to 60 minutes a day. The exercise alone burnt me around 300 to 400 calories per day. And when you combine that with the proper nutrition, the dieting, I was burning up to 600 and 800 calories per day. All right, so if you guys are feeling inspired and you wanna start that weight loss journey, here's some tips I got for y'all. Be sure to eat an adequate amount of protein. I definitely recommend at least one gram per pound of body weight. If you don't eat enough protein, you're gonna lose a lot of muscle mass during the cutting process. Another tip is if you're copying my animal-based diet, you actually don't have to completely cut out carbs. However, I do recommend you keep your carbs lower than usual, especially from grains like oatmeal and rice. So for example, I used to eat maybe six scoops of rice a day. When I started the, uh, the animal-based diet, I lowered it to two scoops of rice a day. So if you're on that animal-based diet like I am, you can actually eat carbs from fruits. Those are fine. They're known as simple carbs and they digest a lot quicker than grains. And lastly, I would recommend you guys avoid eating any type of processed foods. All right, so this is what worked for me, but everybody's different, right? So some people might have a higher BMI and it might take them two months instead of one month to get abs. Some people might do cheat meals, right? However, if you've got a plan and you don't give up, I promise you, you'll achieve whatever you want in life. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, you only lose when you give up. So don't give up, all right?